So let's talk about managing VMs in SCVMM. Now I've got two of these created here and you can see we have the name, the status, and I can sort by status. I can sort by virtual machine state. You'll see the hosts that they're on, the cloud. And I've got this currently set on all hosts. If I wanted to view things just on a particular host, I'd click just on that host and that would filter it down to just what's there. Job status, owner, operating system. Okay, let's talk about things we can do with this. I'm going to start by double clicking on my virtual machine, and that's going to take me to the properties of it. So here's my general information, name, the description, the cost center, if we have one, the tags that are associated with it, uh, which operating system, if it's got guest services. And this operating system, by the way, is not detected, it's selected. Uh, the generation, the version, whether we enable nested virtualization or not. The status is going to show me the current status of it. So we'll see it right here. Status is stopped. Deployment information is stopped. This will give me our hardware configuration and let me change my hardware configuration if I wanted to at this point, including, by the way, my availability, my CPU priority, my memory weight. This will let me view available checkpoints or create one if I wanted to. This will let me set custom properties. Settings will uh, let me set the quota points and this is for self-service. So if we have self-service enabled for our tenants, then we can set quota points for the virtual machines and we can limit them to a specific number of quota points that are allowed to use. Actions would take when the virtual machine starts or when the or when the virtualization server starts or when the virtualization server stops. We can specify servicing windows in which uh, which this machine is to be subscribed to. We can set dependencies, library resources that we're using for this. We can see if there's any validation errors. We can set access, so who is allowed to access this. And we can add uh, with specific self-service user roles. And then this shows us our storage associated with it. Now, if I want to interact with it, I can right click to let me to create a clone or a VM template, shut down, power on, power off. Most of the things that we would expect to see. Store this in the library. That's, we'll take it out of production and put it in the library so I can manage it later on. And then here's where we would connect our view. And we can connect via console, via RDP, or view networking. And since it's turned off, I can't do any of the above, obviously. But those are the options we have to manage our virtual machines. Also notice when I click on this, this virtual machine tab shows up on the ribbon. And we're going to have a lot of the same options up here as well. So there we go. That is how we can manage virtual machines in SCVMM.